Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing a laid back and relaxed fall makeup look. So fall is officially here and I am in the mood to put on some fall makeup. If you guys are into fall makeup looks and good old fashioned makeup tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. And also please don't forget to subscribe before you go if you do like what you see. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started guys. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love this. You all know I definitely need a primer water in my everyday routine. But while that sinks into the skin, because I do like to give it a minute, we are going to do the brows. So for brows, we're going to be going in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 3.75. This is actually a perfect color for me. I love it. So we're going to spoolie these brows through and I'm first starting off with outlining the brows and I'm just taking the spoolie going through it to distribute the product. We are going in with the e.l.f. This is the shade medium brown. This is their gel eyebrow pomade. I love this. Super affordable, super creamy, and incredibly pigmented. This just adds some more color to the brow you're able to fill them in just a little bit more another step for me that is key you could totally skip this but we're gonna go ahead and clean up the brow so i'm using the nar soft matte concealer this one is in the shade medium one custard and i just take this and put it all around my brows just so we can clean them up i feel like this also makes your brows pop then i'm just going to take my alpha flawless concealer brush and blend out those edges next up let's go ahead and prime up the lids we're going to be using the covergirl lid lock it up primer i love this would be helpful if i showed it the right way but if you are oily you need this it is very, very affordable and keeps my oily lids perfect for a really, really long time. Let's go ahead and prime up the skin. So we're going to be using the Matte Putty Primer from e.l.f. So because I am oily, I'm literally putting this all over. If you are not oily, they do have other primers as well, like a luminous one. They have one for the pores, which I really, really like. I just want to fill in my pores a little bit, so I'm going in with the Tarte Timeless. This packaging is the limited edition one, but that's the only thing that is different with it. I love this. You guys could tell I have used this a lot. It is so good. This is one of my favorites. The e.l.f. one is really, really good. I feel like a great dupe for it, but this just fills in your pores so so nicely and I'm just gonna apply a little between the brows so next up let's play with some eyes so I'm going in with the OG the Jaclyn Hill palette I love this palette so much this is the original one but you guys could see I've used abused I'm obsessed such a beautiful palette let's go in with this shade right over here which is called creamsicle and we're going to throw that right in the crease all of these colors are like super blendable, very pigmented. This is, to me, like the perfect fall palette. And I'm just going in windshield wiper motion, blend that out. I want this to be pretty pigmented. I'm making sure, kind of hitting that brow bone like right over here. This is a really pretty color, built up really nicely. Okay, we can always go back and add more when needed. Next up, I'm going to take a mixture of these two two shades right right over here and I'm going to pop that right in the crease but not going above the crease kind of just in that socket I'm gonna change my brush to a more detailed brush I'm kind of going in with a pencil brush but we're gonna go ahead and blend that out okay we have it the color pack down which I know doesn't look cute but I promise it will I am going in with like a flat smaller brush I'm going to blend that out again i am just going right in the crease i'm kind of blowing it out on the edge just so it is noticeable i feel like this eye look is all about blending all i'm gonna do is gonna be really really simple i think what i want to do is take this shade first and i want to pack that on the lid i'm going in with a packer brush this is going to be an all matte eye i'm literally just putting that all over the lid i definitely want to deepen it up a little bit so i'm going to take a mixture 
of this shade and this shade. Kind of lightly tapping into that deeper shade. And I'm going to pack that on. I want this look to look very chocolatey on the lid. I'm going to deepen this up a tad bit more. So I'm going to take this deep, dark, chocolatey brown shade. This shade, I'm actually just going to tap on the outer edge of the eye. Just add a little bit of dimension to the outer edge of the eye. This is pretty much how the eyes are gonna look. Let's do some eyeliner. So for eyeliner, we're going in with the Rare Beauty Eyeliner. I actually really, really love this eyeliner. It is so good. The tip is very, very small, which I love. Very easy just to get a nice line. That is all we're doing today. But let's go in and do the complexion. So I have used this before. I just went ahead and I got a new shade. Lancome Tints Idol Ultra Wear. I have mine in the shade 230 Buff. If you're oily, you are going to love this. I'm just going to pump some on the back of my beauty blender. Apply it. I feel like it's a pretty good match. Maybe a little too warm, but that's nothing that we can't fix. It blends out really, really nicely. If you're oily, you're going to love this. It provides pretty good coverage. Say like medium. Lasts really, really well. I've not used this in a while. You guys could see like I had a bunch of like acne and texture and everything and I feel like it covered it up really, really nicely. And I did what? Like a pump and a half? So that's even better. I feel like it gives pretty good coverage without feeling like too cakey or anything like that. But next step is we're going to go in with concealer. I have the Juvia's Place, uh, the Juvia's Place concealer. I love love this. It is so full coverage. When I say I used to draw triangles underneath my eyes, I used to, but now with this concealer, that is all I do. And then I do apply a little here, 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 and here just to brighten up my face. Now, one tip that I also do recommend is just to let the concealer underneath the eyes sit a little bit. So I go and I do the rest of my face first. Now that that did sit for like just a few seconds, I'm going to blend out my under eye area. And then for setting the entire face, we're going to go in with this Lancome powder. This is actually new. I just really wanted to test this out. This is a long time no shine translucent mattifying powder. I heard this was really good. This looks huge. And it does come with a puff. Not a lot is coming out. All right. And I'm going to set my entire face. So next thing we are going to do is let's finish up the lower lash line, shall we? Let's do this shade right over here. And I'm going to press on like my lower lash line. I'm actually going to switch brushes and I'm going all the way in today. I know I normally do. We're getting as close to that lash line. Next, I'm going to take the deep chocolatey brown shade that we used. And this color, I'm just focusing on the outer portion of the eye, about like a third of the way in. Then I'm going to take a small pencil brush and I'm going to go into that creamsicle shade that we use. And I'm using this blend all of that out and down. I don't have to bring it as far down as I did, but I feel like this definitely ties the overall look together. You could see the creamsicle shade on the bottom, which is beautiful. But let's go ahead and set the brows to set. We're going to go in with the Hourglass Gel. I really like this. This does have little fibers in it. So it's also really good to get some extra coverage if you want. So let's do some mascara. So for mascara, this is actually new. This is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this, so I needed to try this out. This packaging is actually what drew me in. Look at how cool. It looks really awesome. So I'm going to apply it on one eye first. Let me show you guys the wand. Pretty like normal-ish wand, but Let's apply this. This really does get all of the lashes coated and it separates them really nicely as well. Oh, I like this actually. Wow. This makes my lashes look really long. Hold on, I need to read some of those claims. It definitely feels really, really light on eyelashes. I really like this. Like you guys could see this is without the mascara, with the mascara, and I feel like it really made them really long. This was just one coat. Let me try another coat. I feel like it's not as good as the Maybelline, but it's like up there. I feel like I found a lot of drugstore mascaras that are up there that I really, really like. This is definitely one of them. I really, really like this. It looks really pretty. Let's do the lower lashes. Let's see if it's easy to do the lower lashes. I don't love it for the lower lashes, but it's not like horrible. They definitely made my lower lashes look 
extremely long. Um, it was just a little difficult to get right up on in there, but it looks gorgeous. I actually really, really like this. But let's go ahead and bronze up the skin. I feel like this video is going to be like 4,000 hours long. And we are going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've used this before. I love this. It's such a pretty bronzer. Gives like the perfect bronze look. I definitely like a matte bronzer. And next up, we're going to play with some blush. So I felt like for this look, I really wanted a nice toasty cinnamon blush. So we're going to go in with the toasted cinnamon blush from Burt's Bees. I love this blush so much. It is powdery, but it's just such a perfect blush. It actually really lasts well on my oily skin. See, it just gives like a nice pretty bronze sort of blush, which I'm obsessed with. Then for highlight, we are going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder Highlight. This is in the shade Grace. I actually really, really love their highlighters. They're really pretty. Like, look at how gorgeous. Such a gorgeous highlighter. I am an affiliate for Gerard Cosmetics. So if you guys do want anything, I will leave my code on the screen. I do have this in a few shades. I have uh, this shade and I have another shade. Dorothy is it? Both really, really pretty. I'm gonna do a little here, a little here, and I kinda wanna do a touch, just a touch on the brow bone because we don't really have too much of a glow going on the eyes, very matte, but just wanna touch. So for lips, I didn't know what color I wanted to do. Again, this is the Makeup Forever Rogue Lips, Rogue Artist Lipstick in the shade Striking Spice. So I'm going to outline my lips first. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the shade Nude Medium. Don't know if this is like a perfect match, but for the lipstick, but we shall see. This was actually very creamy. It literally just glided across the lips. And I actually really like the color. This is a really, really pretty, like, everyday nude color for me. But let's go in with the shade Striking Spice. Do these smell good? I actually really love this color. Top it off with a gloss. I think I do. Let's go ahead and use the Fenty. This is the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. Just adding a little bit. Just to give me a little bit of a shine because I feel like I'm so matte. I want a little something, something. Last step, let's go ahead and set the face with the Smashbox. This is the, um, this is a photo finish setting spray. And let's just let this dry for a minute. Okay guys, so this is the completed fall look. And I have to say, I actually really, really love it. Between the lip combination and like the eye, I feel like it is full force fall and I am obsessed. So if you guys do like fall tutorials or just makeup tutorials in general, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you guys do want another video with more of a bold lip, definitely leave me a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. But I hope that you guys did enjoy. Please don't forget to leave me a comment. What is your favorite thing about fall? My favorite thing, I love apple picking so much. That is like my favorite thing to do. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that next weekend. I'm so, so excited. But please don't forget to subscribe before you go if you did like what you saw so you can be part of the ATFB fam. ATFB, all things fashion and beauty. And if you hit that post notification bell, you will get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I hope that you guys are well. And I will see you guys in a few days in my next video. Bye.